Okay, in this example it says determine without graphing whether the given quadratic function has a maximum value or a minimum value and then find that value. Okay, so first of all we know that we have a quadratic function because this is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's go ahead and label those values. Our a in this case would be 4 our b is negative 8 and our c is 3. Remember those are the numbers, the coefficients in front of those variables. Okay, because this a value is positive, this tells us that this will open up. Well if it opens up, does that mean that it will have a maximum value or a minimum value? that tells us that this thing will have a minimum. So right now we know this, that it has a minimum value. Minimum value. Have to sound it out sometimes. Alright, now it says find that value. So it's the same thing as asking you what is the minimum. Remember that we have to be very very careful about this there could be two different questions here. This one just happens to be asking what is the minimum. It could also ask you where is the minimum. So we have to remember that where is an X question, what is a Y question. We have to be able to keep those two things straight. So what is the minimum? They're asking you to find y. That's what we're supposed to do. Now in order to do that we have to actually find x first because we know that x equals negative b over 2a so x will equal negative our b value is negative 8 over 2 times a which is uh, 2 times 4 and then we simplify. So the opposite of a, negative 8 would be 8 2 times 4 would be 8 so we know our x value is 1. Now if they had asked us where is that or where is that value we would have been able to stop but they didn't. They said what so we have to go through and find y. Well, We can do that by plugging x into our original equation. So y will equal 4 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1 plus 3. So y will equal 1 squared is 1 times 4 is 4 minus 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3. So y will equal 4 minus 8 would be negative 4 plus, one, uh, plus 3 rather would be negative 1. So when it says then find that value we can now say the value is or the minimum value is negative 1. Just be very careful about the exact question that's being posed.